Hello there folks, welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now today's topic is self-coaching and it's a question which actually came in to me from one of my patron supporters which I answered for my patrons and actually when I sat down and edited the video I thought this is too good not to share with everybody because there's so much to be gleaned from the secrets of coaching yourself towards more positive outcomes in your life. So, self-coaching. Loads going on is the next thing I want to talk about because my diary is pretty much rammed right now. And the reason for that is it's full of things that I enjoy and that I want to do. And there's a very uh, important lesson that I want to share with you here today. And that is really that self-development takes work. It does not just fall in your lap. You know, personal improvement, self-development, continuous professional development, all of these titles that people put on self-learning going forwards through life, it don't just happen. You've got to put a bit of effort in. And I realized this a little while ago. And I thought my diary, although quite busy, it was busy with work, with the activities I undertake through volunteering, with the charities I work for, with things that I'm doing for this channel. Actually, the channel and the Nirvana Club is increasingly becoming a bigger part of my life. Um, so, you know, it's, I need to be more focused in the way I make use of my time. And I realized that if I wasn't careful, my self-development was going to start to suffer. So, I had a couple of slack days over the Easter period and I sat down one afternoon with my diary and I wrote down all the things that I like doing and that I want to do for my personal development in the year ahead. And I wrote down what I did last year, I looked at last year's diary, I looked at the things that I enjoyed doing last year and I'd want to do again, I looked at the things that I maybe made note of to make reference for the future that I intended to revisit. And it was things, I'll tell you the things that I ended up populating my diary with because I sat there for a good couple of hours with my diary with the internet and I started booking things into my diary. Now I use um, an electronic diary as well as a physical diary, a journal, and my, the, uh, the, the actual tool I use is called TeamUp. It's something which is on a desktop, it's on my, on, my, um, on my mobile phone as well. It's free of charge. I've been using it for about 10 years and I just find it quite easy to operate. You know, it's quite handy on the phone. I mean, you can pay for it if you want to do it commercially, but I just use this sort of independent user one. It doesn't cost anything. And I just like having that extra app standing alone from uh, everything else I do other than my journal to where I can keep things in check and color code them and I know what's happening. So I looked at that diary and I started doing things like I've got a literary festival coming up right in a, in a month or so here near where I live. And I knew there was a, you know, a long weekend of things going on. Last year, I just went along to one of the events and I thought, oh, you know, I'd really love to do more of this because it was a really thoroughly enjoyable experience. So planning ahead, I realized the date, I got on there and I booked myself into some of the workshops in the Burnham uh, Literary Festival. So I'm now attending a three hour horror writers workshop cost about 12 quid but I mean three hours of horror horror writing uh, tuition with a published horror author you know I think that's a bargain and that's a great thing to do so I booked myself into that uh, there was a journal writing uh, workshop as well I booked myself into that I thought well I think I know my way around a journal or two been doing it for a long time but I bet these things I've still got to learn. And I booked myself into a few, you know, sessions with authors of books that I found interesting who were, um, you know, participating in the literary festival. So I booked myself up for a couple of days. I've done it so far in advance, sort of six weeks in advance. I know my diary is clear. I know where I've got look forward, looking to look forward to. There's a clear light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, other things. I've spoken in the past about attending a theosophical um, event in the past where, you know, there was a, a lecturer in the Theosophical Society Lodge in Bristol, uh, near where I live. I've planned out the diary this year. I've seen what their, their summer and spring program is. I've popped it into my diary. If any of those events, and there are some interesting and weird ones, if you like a bit of clairvoyance and a bit of uh, nature spirits and stuff like that, I've written it in there. You know, one of my aspirations is to do something every month which is a little bit outside my comfort zone. 
and that's how I'm doing it. I'm planning way in advance. I know when these things are on. If I'm able, I will attend. What else have I got? TEDx events. I went to a TEDx event last year in Froome. Um, and it was a, a really interesting, if you've never been to a TEDx event, it's where you um, get, they get loads of different speakers on different topics, all in one place, sort of conference, and they will all give you 20 minute presentations on their individual themes, which are a scattergun of arts and humanities and science and so on. It's a great way of taking on, drinking in, new interests. Uh, and there's one coming up in a local university. So I've booked myself into that. What else is coming up? National conferences and shows. My son wants to go to the NEC, the National Exhibition Center, to a bike show. Um, there are plays. Every year we end up going to Stratford-upon-Avon to the Royal Shakespeare, Co Shakespeare Company. I put that, pop that into my diary to make sure we don't miss that this year. Uh, not to mention the Nirvana Club events and all the other things, trips to London. So rather than just it happening, I've planned in advance. And this is another tool in self-development, really. It's about using a journal to positive effect. Now, I know many of you guys out there are thinking, bloody journaling, he's always on about using a journal. Is he in the 18th century or something? Well, I tell you now, folks, right? Sometimes a pen and paper is better than electronics. It is something in the manifestation from a thought in the mind that goes through the body to your hand and it becomes real when you write it on a sheet of paper. It's no longer an, an ethereal thought in the air. It's a real tangible thing when you write it down. And when it comes to planning your self-development, what is more important than you, all right? It's your future that we are talking about here. And if you can put it into a journal, write it down, as well as capturing the things that you do each day, all right, you know, you can, you can work towards a better version of yourself. Because I look at last year's journal, and I think to myself, when I did this auditing and preparation for my current year, I thought to myself, what did I do last year that was great? Let's do more of that. What did I do last year that I've recorded in my journal that I didn't really enjoy, and what did I do which was bloody awful? And then I've taken those things, that, right, I'm not gonna do that again, and I'm gonna do more of this, and a little bit less of that, a little bit more of that. So using my journal, I'm able to plot my journey through life towards Trap Nirvana more effectively, like the captain of a ship. You know to stay away from the rocks because you might have been there in the past and you've seen them. So you steer a route around it to keep your ship safe and get to your destination a little quicker. And that's exactly what I advocate journaling for. It's not about keeping track of the things you did today. You know, the washing machine wasn't working or the cat threw up in the kitchen. It is about learning from the past and using it to prepare for the future. Now, if you're new to journaling, and I haven't done the journaling workshop yet, this is just my own life experience of a decade of journaling to give with you. Um, if you're new to it, I do have some advice for you. Right? Because if you think to yourself, okay, I've bought a book, I'm standing here looking at a blank sheet of paper, what am I meant to do? A really good prepper for journaling, and I am in no way promoting this at all, all right? I got this suggested to me as a piece of advice from Antonio Centeno of no other uh, great standing, a gentleman, a YouTuber himself. Um, I've had the occasion of interacting with him, and he advised that I should try this the High Performance Planner. Now it's by an author called Brendan Pritchard, all right? And it's pretty well known within the journaling world. Uh, and actually what it does, it, it's a three month journal, so it's not particularly onerous. You don't have to keep it for a long period of time. You can miss days out, it's not dated. You write the dates in yourself. So, you know, if you're only using it every other day, that's great. It's something to help you on the journey to becoming a personal journaler. But you will find in here, it gives you tips which will help you when you start to manifest your own journal. It's things like, you know, what are my top three goals or priorities for the day? Tasks that must be done today. Lots of things like that. And then it, it gives you the planning for the morning and a debrief at the end of the day. Now, it's a bit more in depth than I use my own journal for, but if you're beginning on a journaling mission in life, it's a great way to do it. So I'll give you an example. In the morning side of things, it says things like, one thing I can get excited about today is, so it's giving you the light at the end of the tunnel for the day. Uh, someone who needs me on my A game today is, 
So you write it in there and you think, okay, well, I've got to be there for my son, my daughter, my parents or whatever, you know, for a specific reason today because they need me. And it just helps you start to get these thoughts in focus in your mind at the commencement of the day. Then it gives you an opportunity with time slots throughout the day to actually plan your day. And at the end of the day, when you do your debrief, there's things you can write to you like, a moment I really appreciated today was. So you're looking back and you're looking at those good things that you maybe want to carry forward and do more of in the future. Um, I could have made today better if I, and you fill it in and you say, well, perhaps if I went for a run, I'd feel a little fitter. Perhaps if I ate more of this or less of that. And it is just a way, and there's more of that in there. I'm just, you know, generalizing. Um, when I take on a mentee, and as you know, I do a little bit of mentoring with people, um, I always recommend, and I think this book costs about, I don't know, 15 pounds. It's not horrific at all. You can see it's quite a chunky old thing. And it's a good three months of activity in there. Um, I always recommend if I'm mentoring somebody, the first thing they do is invest in one of these and start using it. And very quickly, you will find that it will start to bring order to a life of chaos. It's a valuable tool. And when you finish that, Take the bits from that that you like and then start doing it in your own journal, which need only be a simple book. I use a, a Leuchtturm journal here. I like a bit of class. I like using a fountain pen and Leuchtturm provides the sort of paper that I need to use a fountain pen. So for me, my little journal is my sort of map to the, to the future, but also my history treasure trove, which helps me plan forwards. So that's my bit of advice for you today. There we go, folks. I hope you enjoyed today's subject of self-coaching and you'll agree there are many tips and bits of advice there which you can employ in your life to positive effect, even if it's something as simple as just keeping a journal and using it to you know, plan your life ahead, to get to that destination of Chap Nirvana quicker and in better shape than you would otherwise. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, click the subscribe button. If you would like to come on the journey with me as a patron, you can do so by following the links in the show notes below, or you can practically support the channel by just buying me a coffee. Whatever you'd like to do is great, keeps me making content, and it gives me the motivation to keep going after nearly, what, four and a half years now of creating these videos for you. So, until the next time, take care, coach yourself, to the best version of yourself and I will see you again very soon.